Crane. Listen, Brecken and a team of runners went after an airdrop last night. He lost the rest of his team to biters, and then Rise's men ambushed him, beat him to a pulp, and stole the drop. Now Brecken wants to go after the next drop himself, but we can't let him, and you've got to back me up, okay? For God's sake! You can't even walk straight! We need you alive, you idiot! Okay, we're going in. Act confident. Brecken? Lena? Maybe you can get through to him. Jade, who's your friend? Kyle Crane. Look, Brecken, the last thing we need is for you to go back out there. We can figure out another way without jeopardizing you. Right, Crane? I'll go. I'll do it. Right? Yes? Crane will go. He'll be happy to. Jesus. No offense, friend, but you're as green as grass. You can't just- Crane will manage. He'll start in the right spot. And Lena's right, you need to be here taking care of the towers, convincing them the world's not over yet. Oh, hell. Maybe one more try before we go to Rice. Yeah, okay, fine. Good luck, Crane. Jade, a moment. Sure. Head for the cauldron, I'll be in touch shortly. Doc, there's something else we need to discuss. Brecken was hurt pretty bad out there. Worse than he wants people to know. He took a blow to the head. Now he's starting to have seizures, and I don't have any Laura tracks. Yeah, I doubt anyone does. Anti-seizure drugs were being passed out like candy when the infection first started. I mean, the stores ran out weeks ago. Yes, that's right. How do you know that? Look, what do you need me to do, Lena? There's a man in town named Ghazi. He's not altogether there, if you know what I mean. His mother had epilepsy, so he used to pick up medicine for her each month. She died two years ago. But Ghazi kept going to the store to pick up her prescription. He likes his routine, and Ghazi can be very... insistent. So, they kept giving it to him. You think he's been stockpiling it all this time? If he hasn't, I don't know where else we're going to get it from. Ghazi lives under the overpass. And don't mention his mother's death. He won't understand.
You get to work with her, don't you? Uh, I'm sorry. Work with who? Jade Alden here. Mama ain't happy. Nobody happy. So you better make Mama happy. Yazi. Me too. We have the same name. Are you from the video store? No, my name's Crane. Crane? Crane rhymes with train and brain and sane and grain and rain and plane and the other kind of plane and and. But can I come in? No, no. It's impossible. Impossible. This is my special day with mom. It's Mother's Day, and it's the most important day of the whole world. Are you from the video store? Why do you keep asking me that? Uh, because you're supposed to bring my movie about me. 
It's called Charlie. And it's all about me. And how smart I am. Look, Gazi, if I bring you your movie, will you let me come in? Sure. Then you could watch with us. It is Mother's Day. And if Mama ain't happy, nobody happy. Oh, and, and she also wants chocolate. Mama wants chocolate. No, 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 wait a minute, that's too much. Don't argue with Gazi. It doesn't work. That... That's what the drugstore people say.
Perhaps not now. Charlie, Charlie, see you for Charlie. Gotcha. Here's your movie and your chocolates. Wait till mom see this. Oh, Gazi wins again. Hooray for Gazi! Right. Hey, then I'll just let myself in through the roof.
Hello, Gazi. Is Mama happy? Yeah, Mama's real happy. Gazi got her chocolates and a movie. Well, then I'm gonna take some medicine to help my friend. Well, okay. Oh, Mama stopped getting seizures when her head turned into a pumpkin. They're on the table. Yeah, thanks, Gazi. Gazi make everybody happy. There's nothing outside. All right, I've got your anti-seizure medicine. Thanks. Oh, how'd things go with Gazi? Well, he may be challenged, but he's very good at getting what he wants. Did you meet his mom? Yeah, she seemed happy. If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. <laughs> Speaking of which, Brecken asked me to pass this on to you. 
with his thanks. Crane here. Report. Tower boss is named Brecken, and he's definitely not your man. The other likely suspect is this warlord, basically. Local guy. Calls himself Rise. He's hoarding Antizen and then gouging the hell out of anybody who wants to buy some. I'm on a mission to get Antizen from the airdrop. If I don't succeed, they'll have to come up with something else. Acknowledged. Good job, Crane. You're doing well. Stay on task, and we'll be in touch. Be sure to call us immediately if and when you get that Antizen.
Three quarters of all airdrops fall in the cauldron. So if you start from there, you'll have the best chance of getting to that drop before Rice's men do. Jade, I'm getting close to the drop zone. Good. Find some shelter and wait. Most of the drops seem to fall exactly in that area. There's a crate. It looks intact. I'll check out what's inside. Nothing here. Did you see that? Yeah, two drops. They landed elsewhere, unfortunately, but you're not that far away. Get to those crates before anyone else does. Eat me! 
Please help me! Go try to eat me! Jade Rice's men got here first. Fuck! Okay, don't try to fight them. Just find the second one. Look for the smoke from the flare. The crate should be close by. Guy's gonna be mad. Get him! Jane, I'm almost there. I can do this. Crane here. I'm about to recover an antizen drop. Good, Crane. This offers us a new strategy. Time to turn your attention to Rise. Listen closely. It's very possible that Rise is our man. So if you find an airdrop containing antizen, destroy it. What? W what? Why? It will force interaction with Rise. You can go under Brecken's auspices as an ambassador, if you will. But, but there are civilians depending on this stuff. Our plan is focused on the greater good. Remember that. Jade, I'm at the airdrop. There's no antis in here. Done? Fuck! Fuck! All right. Get back here and be careful. The nightmares are awake. Don't let them see. Oh, shit. They must have heard me.
Things are bad, very bad. <laughs> 